Let's get right into it. Number 11. Brocken Spectre. There you are on a misty mountain peak, when a giant shadowy figure appears in the clouds, crowned with a rainbow halo. This spooky sight is called a Brocken Spectre, named after Germany's Brocken Mountain where it was first documented. It happens when the sun is behind you and you're looking down into fog or clouds. Your shadow gets projected onto the mist, but with no familiar objects around for scale, your brain goes, wow, that's huge. The rainbow halo around your shadow is created by sunlight bouncing off tiny water droplets in the air. Each droplet acts like a tiny prism, creating a personal rainbow crown just for your shadow. Back in the 1700s, people in Germany's Harz Mountains thought these were actual ghosts haunting the peaks. And here's the creepiest part. Each person only sees their own Brocken Spectre. So if you're hiking with friends, everyone sees their own personal giant ghost. It's like having a VIP pass to your own private horror show in the sky. Number 10. Singing Sand Dunes The desert stretches endlessly when suddenly you hear what sounds like a massive pipe organ playing from nowhere. These musical dunes can produce sounds so loud they've been mistaken for airplane engines. Some can hit 105 decibels. That's as loud as a motorcycle revving next to your ear. When sand slides down the dune, millions of grains rub against each other in perfect sync. All these tiny collisions create vibrations turning the entire dune into a subwoofer. But not just any sand can sing. The grains need to be just the right size and shape, like tiny perfect spheres. Marco Polo himself heard them and wrote about evil desert spirits making music. Desert tour guides love telling stories of tourists convinced they're hearing buried machinery or alien signals. Scientists found that each dune has its own unique voice. Some boom like distant thunder, others hum. And these desert concerts can last for several minutes. Just enough time to make you question your sanity in the middle of nowhere. Number 9. Mammatus Clouds The storm has just passed and suddenly the entire sky looks like it's covered in hundreds of giant bubbles hanging upside down, like someone turned the clouds into water balloons ready to drop. These weird formations are called Mammatus Clouds, and they look straight out of an alien invasion movie. They form when pockets of cold air start sinking down from bigger storm clouds. Weather stations get flooded with calls when these appear. The sky is melting, is the usual reaction. While they look terrifying, especially when lit up at sunset, they're completely harmless. In fact, when you see these clouds, it usually means the worst of the storm has already passed. It's just nature's way of saying, show's over, folks. Number 8. Sun Dogs. Picture this. You're sipping your morning coffee when you glance outside and see three suns staring back at you, as if someone copy-pasted the sun a couple of times just to mess with your head. These bright spots that look like extra suns are called sun dogs. They show up when sunlight passes through clouds full of tiny ice crystals. Each ice crystal acts like a tiny prism, bending the light and creating these fake suns. They always appear about 22 degrees to the left and right of the real sun. Sometimes they can be almost as bright as the sun itself. The best time to catch these solar doppelgangers is during sunrise or sunset. That's when the sunlight hits the ice crystals at just the right angle. If conditions are perfect, they can even have rainbow colors, with red closest to the sun. Vikings called them sun wolves and thought they were glimpses into parallel worlds. Number 7. Light Pillars A freezing winter night has you bundled up walking home when suddenly beams of light shoot straight up into the sky. These columns of light aren't alien spotlights or government experiments. They're just millions of tiny ice crystals doing their best mirror impression. When it's super cold outside, flat hexagonal ice crystals form in the air. These crystals are basically like disco balls, floating down and lining up horizontally like tiny mirrors. When light from street lamps, the moon, or even the sun hits these crystal mirrors, they reflect it up and down. The result is massive beams of light that look like someone's trying to signal Batman. The color matches whatever light they're reflecting. Orange street lights make orange pillars. LED lights create blue ones. 911 operators in cold cities know these well. Every winter brings a wave of UFO landing beacon reports. The truth is far less exciting, but still pretty cool. Number 6. Starling Murmuration Dusk is falling when suddenly the sky fills with what looks like a massive living shadow twisting through the air, as though someone took a brush dipped in darkness and started painting the sunset. These dark, writhing shapes are actually thousands of starlings moving as one giant organism. Each bird follows just three simple rules. Stay close to your neighbors don't crash into them, and move in the same direction. Scientists found that each bird only tracks seven neighbors at a time. That's it. Just seven birds in a flock of thousands. Yet somehow, 
they create patterns so complex that scientists needed supercomputers to figure out how it works. When a predator like a falcon shows up, the whole flock morphs into wild shapes in less than half a second. The falcon usually gives up and goes home hungry. These flocks can have up to 100,000 birds in them, all moving in perfect sync. Traffic stops, people pull out their phones, and everyone thinks they're witnessing some kind of apocalyptic event. In reality, it's just birds turning safety in numbers into an aerial ballet. Number 5. Foxfire Your flashlight dies during a night hike when you notice dead trees glowing with ghostly green flames. This spooky light show is called Foxfire, and it's actually just fungi having a rave party on rotting wood. These fungi produce light through a chemical reaction, kind of like how fireflies make their butts glow. People in Appalachia used to think these lights were spirits moving through the woods. In Japan, they called it Kitsunebi, which means foxfire. They believed magical foxes were creating the flames. The glow is so gentle you can actually touch it without getting burned. Scientists found that when these fungi break down dead wood, they create a chemical reaction that produces light without heat. They basically invented cold fire millions of years before humans figured out LED lights. Forest rangers have stories of hikers radioing in about ghost fires or alien signals in the woods. Meanwhile, it's just some fungi turning their midnight snack into a light show. Number 4. Penitentes You're trekking through the Andes when suddenly you're face to face with a field of ice spears pointing at the sky. It's as if someone lined up thousands of frozen daggers ready to impale anyone who dares walk through. These creepy ice formations are called penitentes named after religious processions where hooded monks would kneel in pointed white hoods. They can grow from a few inches to several feet tall, turning entire mountainsides into a medieval torture chamber. At high altitudes, snow doesn't melt like normal. Instead, it skips the liquid phase and goes straight from solid to gas. Once tiny dips form in the snow, they create shadows. These shadows protect some areas, while others get blasted by sunlight. Over time, this creates these sharp, haunting spikes that look like they're reaching for the sky. Scientists actually found similar formations on Mars. Number 3. Fall Streak Hole You're driving down the highway when you spot what looks like a giant hole punched right through the clouds. Up in those high clouds, there are tiny water droplets that are super cold but haven't frozen yet. They're like that bottle of water you forgot in the freezer, still liquid even though it should be ice. Then a plane flies through, creating a disturbance that triggers these nervous little droplets to finally freeze and fall. It starts a chain reaction. As more droplets freeze and fall, they leave behind this perfect hole that keeps growing. Air traffic controllers get reports of these all the time. Pilots think they're flying into something supernatural. Turns out it's just physics putting on a show. Number 2. Blood Falls in Antarctica Antarctica's frozen wasteland stretches forever when suddenly you spot what looks like a massive blood stain oozing down a glacier. This is Blood Falls, a five-story high crimson waterfall that looks like Earth got a nasty paper cut. Deep under Taylor Glacier, there's an ancient pool of super salty water that's been trapped there for millions of years. This water is packed with iron, just like the iron in your blood. When this rusty water finally squeezes through cracks in the glacier and hits the air, it turns bright red. Think of it like leaving an old nail out in the rain. It rusts and turns red. But scientists found something living in there. Deep in that pitch black, freezing, salty water, there's a whole community of tiny microbes just living their best life. These tough little guys survive in temperatures as low as negative 13 degrees Celsius without any sunlight or oxygen. They're basically the cockroaches of the microscopic world, if cockroaches could live in a frozen, pitch-black salt cave. Number 1. Morning Glory Cloud Imagine waking up one morning and seeing what looks like a massive tsunami made of clouds rolling across the sky. These giant cloud waves can stretch for 600 miles. That's like having a cloud from New York to Detroit. They're about one mile wide and roll across the sky like a ghostly steamroller. In Burktown, Australia, these clouds show up regularly. The local Aboriginal people say these clouds are created by Walalu, the rainbow serpent. Looking at these massive sky waves, you can see why they'd think a giant serpent was involved. Some pilots surf these cloud waves in their gliders. They use the rising air currents to travel hundreds of miles without an engine. People have actually called emergency services about these things, thinking they were seeing the end of the world. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.